Neem, as a direct indica, Aegis is one of the important multipurpose tree species. Neem being an important part of our biological heritage and is also recognized as one of nature's gift to mankind. It belongs to family Miliaceae, which is widely grown in South Asia, Southeast Asia and West Africa. Azadiracta indica is an evergreen tree of 10 to 15 meter in height with pinnate leaves up to 3 to 10 cm long. Flowering occurs during April and May which is related to high temperature and low rainfall. Vegetative propagation by cuttings is widely used to multiply allied trees obtained from the natural population to exploit the genetic variability. In the vegetative propagation, propagators usually select healthy, vigorous, well-matured and young shoots with viable buds as the source of cuttings. The degree of maturity and juvenility of stem cuttings play an important role in rooting. Several types of stem cuttings can be taken from the parent donors which may be of hard, moderately hard, soft or herbaceous depending on maturity of the branch. In addition, the use of plant growth regulators plays an essential role in influencing the formation of adventitious root, bud break and survival of stem cuttings. Conventional breeding programs for qualitative and quantitative improvements have been rendered inefficient due to prevalent heterozygosity and perennial nature of the tree. In this regard, plant tissue culture offers a lucrative alternative for quick propagation of neem trees. Till date, various explants ranging from nodes, leaves, zygotic embryos, endosperm, cotyledons, hypocotyls, protoplast, anthers and ovaries have been used for the micropropagation of these tree. The basic concepts of plant tissue culture are totipotency, differentiation, de-differentiation and re-differentiation. Totipotency is the property of live plant cells that they have the genetic potential when cultured in nutrient medium to give rise to a complete individual plant. Differentiation is the process of biochemical and structural changes by which cells become specialized in form and function. Dedifferentiation is the process of reversion of mature tissue into metastomatic state leading to the formation of callus. Redifferentiation is the ability of the callus to develop into shoot or root or embryoid. Steps involved in the micropropagation of neem are preparation of nutrient culture medium, sterilization of culture medium, preparation of explant, inoculation of explant, incubation for growth, acclimatization of plantlets and transfer to pots. The first step is the preparation of nutrient culture medium. The first step is the preparation of nutrient culture medium. The most commonly used medium is morashic and skug medium. The major nutrients in morashic and skug medium are ammonium nitrate with the concentration of 825 mg per liter, potassium nitrate 950 mg per liter, potassium dihydrogen phosphate 85 mg per liter, boric acid 3 mg per liter, manganese sulfate 11.15 mg per liter, zinc sulfate 4.3 mg per liter, potassium iodide 0.4125 mg per liter, copper sulfate 0.0125 mg per liter, sodium molybdate 0.125 mg per liter and cobalt chloride 0.0125 mg per liter. The remainder of constituents was added in amounts listed by Morashik and Skook. 
The medium was supplemented with different combinations and concentrations of various growth regulators such as cytokinins, 6 benzyl amine, 6 fulfural amine, and indole 3 butyric acid. The concentration of 6 benzyl amine are 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, and 3 mg per liter. The concentration of 6 fulfural amine are 1, 2 and 3 mg per liter and the concentration of indole 3 butyric acid is 0.3 mg per liter. The shoot proliferation medium consists of the combination of benzyl amine with the concentration of 0.5, 1 and 2 mg per liter and the fulfural amine with the concentration of 1 and 1.5 mg per liter and are 0.5 mg per liter 1 naphthalene acetic acid. The multiplication medium has half strength MS medium supplemented with IBA with the concentrations of 1, 1.5, 2 mg per liter. The next step is the sterilization of culture medium. After adjusting the pH to 5.8, the culture tubes were plugged with non absorbent cotton wrap ring cheese cloth and autoclaved at 1.06 kg per centimeter square and 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. The next step is the preparation of explant. Each and every cell of the plant is capable of giving rise to an individual. However, care must be taken to collect the explants from healthy, disease-free and actively growing plants, preferably having some melastomatic areas of high cell activity. Immediately after the collection, the explants are placed in clean water to avoid the entrance of air bubbles, microbes and contaminants from the cut or exposed part. These explants are then brought to the laboratory for surface sterilization for which the explants are cut into smaller size and then placed in a petri plate containing distilled water. The explants collected from the mother plants were nodal segments and seeds which were first thoroughly washed in running tap water for about 20 minutes. The nodal explants and seeds were rinsed with 2 to 3 drops of twin 20 in 100 ml of distilled water for about 15 minutes. Twin 20 is a mild non-ionic surfactant which is used as wetting agent. And then the explants were treated with 1% bevistin for about 15 minutes. The solution was placed on a stirrer to provide uniform contact between chemicals and explants. Followed by the plant materials were treated with 1% chlorine water wash for about 15 minutes. After 3 times of distilled water washes, the explants were taken to the laminar airflow chamber for the further sterilization.
The next step is the inoculation of explant. Before inoculation, the explants were sterilized in laminar airflow chamber. For micropropagation, nodal explants and seeds of neem were initially sterilized with 70% ethanol for 1 minute, followed by mercury chloride for 8 minutes. The treated explants were then washed 3 to 4 times with sterile distilled water to make them free from sterilant. And finally, the explants were kept in 0.5% antimicrobial supplement solution to avoid contamination before inoculation. Single node cuttings about 2 cm from a neem tree were collected to initiate cultures. After removing leaves, the cuttings were thoroughly washed with 1% solution of savalon for 20 minutes and rinsed twice in sterile distilled water. All subsequent operations were carried out inside a laminar airflow cabinet. The clean cuttings were given a quick rinse in 70% ethanol followed by two washings in SDW. These were then surface sterilized in 0.1.5% mercury chloride solution for about 30 minutes and then rinsed thrice with SDW. The cuttings were slightly trimmed at both the ends to expose fresh tissue before planting them on morashic and skug medium containing 3% sucrose and gelled with 0.8% agar. The next step is the incubation of explants for growth. The inoculated explants are placed on a culture room. The culture room is the room for keeping or incubating the culture under controlled temperature, light and humidity. The culture room is also fitted with double doors in order to make it dust free and to maintain a constant room temperature. One should enter the culture room keeping the shoes outside the door. The temperature maintained in the culture room is between 15 degree to 30 degree Celsius with a temperature fluctuation of less than plus or minus 0.5 degree Celsius. However, a wider range in temperature may be required for specific experiments. After 3 weeks of incubation, data on shoot number and shoot length per explant were recorded. Each treatment constitute 3 replications with 30 culture tubes or jars per replication. A small 0.5 cm individual shoots from 5 week old cultures of MS plus BAP plus CH were excised carefully and transferred to full strength MS medium supplemented with BAP of concentration 2 mg per liter and lower concentration of CH that is 250 mg per liter for the elongation of shoots. At the end of the passage, each axillary shoot which had grown fairly long was cut into single node segments 
and transferred to fresh medium for further multiplication. For routing, terminal 3 cm long portions of elongated shoots with 3 to 4 nodes were excised and cultured on MS, of MS that is major inorganic salts reduced to half strength or 1 by 4 MS that is major inorganic salts reduced to 1 by 4 strength which is supplemented with indole 3 butyric acid in the range of 0.5 to 1 molar. Each treatment was replicated 3 times with 20 tubes per replication. Data on percent routing, root number and root length were recorded after 5 weeks of transfer in routing medium. The final step is the hardening of plantlets and transferring them to the pots. Hardening refers to the preparation of the plants for a natural growth environment. Until this stage, the plantlets have been grown in ideal conditions designed to encourage rapid growth. Due to the controlled nature of their maturation, the plantlets often do not have fully functional dermal coverings. This causes them to be highly susceptible to disease and inefficient in their use of water and energy. In vitro conditions are high in humidity and plants grown under these conditions often do not form a working cuticle and stomata that keep the plant from drying out. When taken out of culture, the plantlets need time to adjust to more natural environmental conditions. For hardening, the rooted plantlets were carefully removed from the test tubes without damaging the roots. The roots were thoroughly washed under running tap water to remove adhering agar medium and the plantlets were placed in plastic cups containing different potting mixtures that is sand, sand plus soil, vermiculate. The plantlets were covered with transparent polythene bags to maintain high humidity and were watered on alternate days. Observations on plant survival, height and color diameter were recorded. The application of micropropagation are rapid increase of stock of new varieties, elimination of diseases, cloning of plant types that are not easily propagated by conventional methods. Propagules have enhanced growth features, that is multi-branched character.